Okay, so um, y equals radical x. Okay, that's going to look like this. And what we want is the tangent line. We want the equation of that line. How do we write the equation of a line? Mx plus b. Y equals mx plus b. Do you recognize that right there? Yes, I do. So really our goal is going to be to find the m and find the b of that line. We will use the derivative to find the m, okay? How do I find the derivative in 2, 1? I use this exhaustive process. I take the limit as delta x approaches 0 of radical x plus delta x minus radical, oh, no, 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 minus radical x, f of x. all over delta x okay remember when we learned about these things called the conjugates uh, this is why you learned about them to get rid of this nastiness you're going to multiply this by radical yes. x plus delta x plus radical x over radical x plus delta x plus radical x okay so on the top, why did we multiply by the conjugate? Because beautiful things happen. What do you get? Just foil these. We're foiling these. The top. X plus delta x. So you get x plus delta x. Um, plus two, or x squared plus delta. No, when you look, when you do uh, this times that, you yeah. get a positive radical radical. And when you do this times this, you get a negative radical radical, so and they're gone. Go. So the only thing else we need is we need what's radical, what's negative radical x times positive radical x, Jude. Negative x. That's right. Okay. And then on the bottom, you're going to get delta x times radical x plus delta x plus radical x, okay? And remember, I never mess with the bottom because we're just trying to get delta x to cancel out. So you know that x minus x is gone. That's, one, that's zero. Okay, and now we got delta x divided by delta x. So this ends up being, on the top, we don't have zero because delta x divided by delta x is one. And then on the bottom, we got radical x plus delta x plus radical x. And we're taking the limit as delta x approaches 0, so now we can plug it in. So you end up getting 1 over radical x plus radical x. Remember, like, what's y plus y? 2y. So this is 1 over 2 radical x. All right, now I didn't want to ruin the movie right away, so now let's do that now. As you told me, this is y equals x to the one-half power. So if I can apply tomorrow's rule today, y equals one-half times x to the negative one-half, bam, there it is. That's y equals one over two radical x. That's what that means. Got the same thing, okay? So now to the new part. How do I find the slope? Well, I hope you understand that the slope at this point is different than the slope at that point, right? So to find the slope, I need to plug in my x value. My x value is what? 1. So our m at this point is? 1. No. Or half. 1 half. Sorry. Good. That's all right. A lot going on. Now, I'm, I want to find b. I know M, I know X, and I know Y. Do you remember how to do this from Algebra 1 and Algebra 2? Plug in for Y and X. That's right. Y equals MX plus B. 
1 equals 1 half times 1 plus B. 1 equals 1 half plus B. Subtract a half. Negative 1 half. And positive, positive 1 half. half. So now we know our B. We know our M. It's a little confusing because they're the same. So our equation of this blue line, when I'm turning red right now, the equation of that line is y equals one half x plus one half, and that's exactly what that looks like. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Sounds good. Boom.